Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. I was up in Dublin today, and while I was up there, I decided to pick myself up some new figures. And one of the first figures I got was this guy. This is the DC Multiverse, the Batman Riddler figure. Now, this is from the new movie, which I will be hopefully seeing this weekend. And hopefully I'll have a review out for it. Fingers crossed. But yeah, this is the Matt Reeves Batman movie that is a lot more grounded than prior movies. Probably up there with the Christopher Nolan flicks. And Reeves really was influenced by basically the Zodiac Killer and David Fincher as well. Uh, Fincher obviously done Zodiac, the, the movie based on the Zodiac Killer. But he also done Seven and his kind of concept for his Riddler was basically the Zodiac Killer John Doe. This, this guy, this killer who would try and kind of have a game of cat and mouse with the police force. And again, this is a more real world version of the Riddler. So instead of being called Edward Nigma, he's actually Edward Nashton. And he is played by Paul Dano. Spoilers, hopefully, hopefully you already know that. But yeah, I'm really liking the figure. It is very much inspired by the kind of get up the Zodiac Killer war when he went on his killing spree. Uh, one issue I do have with the new run of DC Multiverse figures is they don't package firearms with their figures anymore. Even though it's kind of obvious that um, he has a trigger finger, which is which is weird. So you have Disney releasing Marvel Legends figures and you have Punisher, uh, the Winter Soldier which come with assault rifles and pistols. But these guys don't get firearms. I'm boggled by that. But still, really nice looking figure in the package. We'll have a closer look. Packaging is pretty cool. You have the DC Multiverse, the Batman, the logo on the bottom. On the back, we have a picture. I think this is actually of the figure. I don't think this is from the movie. And it shows the other figures you can get in the line. You have Catwoman there. You have... Penwin, you have uh, Batman, and you have, I think, the Bat Cycle, the Bat Motorbike. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, again, this is a McFarland figure. And, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. When it comes to detail, uh, the McFarland figures are up there with NECA. So, I'm going to pause the video, and when I come right back, we're going to take a closer look at the figure. So, do not go anywhere. I shall be right back. And we are back, and here is the Riddler figure. And again, McFarland done a really good job with the detail on this guy. Really liking it. Again, the Reeves really wanted to get a very kind of make and do kind of serial killer, like like the kind of um, the the Zodiac killer. And and this 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 kind of puts forward as well that. That the Riddler is so meticulous he wears all this stuff so he doesn't leave any kind of physical evidence. So that's why he's wearing the mask and the goggles and stuff. So he doesn't leave any hair follicles or DNA. And the, the other cool thing about the costume is I think I think a lot of people are going to be dressing as the Riddler uh, for Halloween. Because it's just it's something I think someone could cobble together very very easily. But as for the figure good rotation in the joints. Nice loosey goosey, good rotation in the arms, uh, double joint there, double joint there, uh, on the head, good rotation on the head, it can be moved back and forth, uh, the, the feel of the jacket is pretty good as well, uh, joints on the legs, there's a double joint as well, which is pretty good, so there's good posing, again, there's that trigger finger for a gun that never existed. And it's the same for the Penguin figure as well. He is a trigger finger, but uh, no gun. But again, uh, really liking the detail. I'll just show you that. And um, he's, he's, he's well, he covered his like hair in clean film. And it's to stop, like, again, any hair follicles and stuff getting loose. And just, you can see so much of the inspiration from the Zodiac Killer to the, the, the Riddler having his kind of icon. On his jacket, it 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 really works really well. What does he come with? Well, he comes with this. It's an ice scraper. So, like you know, maybe the Riddler, maybe the Riddler needs to to go 
to go into Gotham quickly and has to scrape all the ice off his uh off his car. Maybe that's what it's for. I don't know. I'm probably going I'm gonna give him a gun. Like I did with Rowdy Piper, I'll give him a gun of his own. He's like, ah Can you imagine him taking on Batman with a fucking with a scraper? What the fuck? That was a bit crazy. Again, I just I think it's ridiculous that Marvel, a company owned by Disney, still have the cojones to, to package their figures with guns. But uh, McFarlane, Todd McFarlane, the guy behind Spawn, is afraid to uh, uh, package weapons with his uh, with his figures. Uh, other accessory comes with is a stand, a figure stand. Um, let's turn it there, DC logo, just like uh, with my Harley and the Batman I got. And sits in there really well, works really well, nice for display. You can kind of put them into different poses thanks to the stand, so it's handy out. He's getting ready to beat someone, I don't know, what do you reckon? Or, or someone stole his uh, his uh, kind of ice scraper, who knows, or paint scraper. <laughs> hey, where's my paint scraper? And the other thing he comes with is this collector's card. Now, this pisses me off. Because, okay, yeah, from the outside it looks cool, but it is essentially a picture of the figure. It's not a picture from the movie. So maybe, maybe Warner Brothers has an embargo on the images they can use because the movie was being released. But I don't know, I just think, I think that's really silly. Uh, the, the Riddler, the Batman. Uh, real name, Edward Nashton. The Riddler has quickly established himself as Gotham's Deadliest threat yet. This enigmatic mass killer has devised a sinister series of puzzles and torturous devices to entrap Gotham's elite and publicly unmask the city's dark truths. Uh, just, I don't know. Why why have a picture of the figure? Why not have a picture from the movie? I don't know. Still though, really cool figure. I like, I like the look. And I like the way he is. I'm going to scale him up to some other uh, DC multiverse figures from McFarland. So don't go anywhere and we'll see how he scales up to them. I shall be right back. And we are back. And here is Riddler with his scary ice scraper of doom. Okay, so there he is. And I'm going to compare him to some other... DC multiverse figures here. There you go. So that scales up kind of well. And then we'll put Batman next to him. And yeah, that, that scales up really well. You can kind of mix and match the figures. And he's still, I do like the look of the character. It looks really well. I'm still perplexed by the ice scraper. I assume he's going to use it in, in some form of or another in the movie. Uh, we, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, again, cool figure, like the whole Zodiac Killer kind of design and look and feel, and it's supposed to fit the the kind of aesthetic of the movie, so that should be interesting. But uh, what do you think, guys? Do you think you might pick this up? And if you do, do you think you'll give him a more formidable weapon than this? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and also let me know if you're going to go see the Batman this weekend, and are you excited? So my name's Martin, this has been the Trash Picture Show. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now. For Santa, can't relax. Can't sleep cause my bed's on fire. Don't touch me, I'm a real live wire. Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa